Roman, it's Nico. I need a cab. You need walk no longer. There's a cab coming to you. I hope you enjoy the trouble you are going to be getting into here. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment and he wants to speak to the feds. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk on account of you being brain dead and totally fucking mentally retarded. <laughs> Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. The guy's a fucking low life. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cut dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You're cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now, the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call.
Found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. Is gone numb. Who are you calling for Burger Shot? The Heart Stopper, the all new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six pound burger. dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent. This is it, we're here. There he is, Nico Bellek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers. The two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, 
Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? Uh, uh, yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in Brett Halfwit? <coughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family. Or I will fuck with yours. All right. We're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians, while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I throw up a line of chop through one of them notes. First. You're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's P.E. 4, not C. 4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? <laughs> Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Let's make this clean, boys. No civilian casualties.
fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart! Don't none of you worry about nothing! We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay! Okay, wait a minute! I got it! Get on the floor! Now! But, sir! You too! Okay, okay! Hey, yo! I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis! But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but... I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on! The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people! We're your friends! Me and me brother here... Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Shit! Fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids! I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys. All civilians must evacuate the area. Move in! Move in! Go! 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 Come on! Let's do this, people! Factory out there. Shit! Stick to me, boys. We gotta get this cash out of here.
don't never know what you're dealing with when you're in Chinatown. Way. Uh, oh. 